off to a bumpy start. We're 0-1 right now. Just had our uh, first fish, looks like a fish, hit the pole, and then hit the pole again, and then snap my line. So, hopefully catch a fish with the no bananas flasher trailing behind him. That'd be nice to get that back. Good morning, August 23rd. Kind of doing the same thing we were doing uh, in the video yesterday that I uploaded just out here. Same spot, slag pile, we're at about 400 foot depth. Um, we got a rod down at 27 feet, rod down at 47 feet. Um, Ace high flies, um, 11 inch flashers, purple haze, and the no bananas still. Um, just looking for bait, just trying to find the bait balls, and I'm just looking for birds. Um, about 5 45 in the morning, so we'll be back. I don't think he's very big, Ron. <laughs> I'm still keeping attention on him though. There you go. Oh shit, he's got a real, real, real. Did he come off? Oh my God. So that was right when I said fishing wasn't as good as yesterday. Inhaled it. Don't know what it is. We'll get him in here though. Ron, I want you to take his fish, but every time we hand each other the fishing pole, we lose the fish. Did you just want me to bring this in? Did you? Okay, I, I must have missed that. Ron put us on a fish. We're having some different fishing than we were yesterday. That's for sure. Heavy cloud cover. So we'll see. Bait is a lot deeper and a lot more spread out. That was abrupt. Yeah. Keep that around. Oh man, I don't want to backseat drive. I'm always just full of comments when you're catching fish, and I don't mean to be a know-it-all. Here, I'm gonna go right here. Can you put your tip that way just a little bit? Okay, there you go. There you go, nice and easy. If he spits the hook, I'll catch him midair. Oh, silver. Yeah. Silver, yes, it's silver. Hell oh, yeah. There we go. What, you shut her down? I was all hung You okay? Up. Yeah. Oh, I thought I got you with a net. That one I could tell was a silver from a little ways away. Yeah. High five. He shined bright. All right, Ron just got oh, a nice. He wasn't going nowhere. Oh, he got him. Look at that. That's a trap. Got him good. We just did a big, uh, oh, we just did a big U turn out there, and I was messing with the throttle quite a bit, pulling back the throttle, accelerating a little. Almost let it idle out. And... Ron got this nice guy. I say it's probably 22 inch. Oh, yeah, yeah, 22 inch uh, wild silver. Beautiful. Okay, guys, so for these co hosts, it's kind of what I'm doing here. It's uh, actually, let me pop this out really quick. Sick. There we go. Okay, cool. So I'm just doing these uh, 90 degree. S turns and I don't see a lot of guys doing these S turns and I really feel like they help. I'll we'll go back over here. Good 90 degrees this way roughly a little bit more. Alright, see how we do here. That was that was a glorious sound. That was one of those hits where you just hear the clicker. <laughs> Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Oh. Woo. Nope. I'm doing it the way you want me to do it, Rob. Woo! Well, I need to pull him over here. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be a good call. Uh, actually, turn left, Rob. Yeah, you got it.
He looked dark. Did he look dark to you? I'm, I'm just, I'm not even reeling in here. He's still pulling drag. I'm gonna tighten down a little bit. Will you slow us down just a little bit? Just a little bit, leave it in gear a bit. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I got the, I got the drag kind of cranked here. I'm gonna keep cranking down the drag. I don't know what he's doing, but I am struggling to bring him in. There we go. Okay, I'm getting some progress on him. Getting more legs behind him. That was close. I can't see anything, so you just... Okay. Got him? Tip top. Oh, you all right? <laughs> We're good. Oh, that's a coho. All right, here's that coho we just caught. Oh, we got a, okay, oh, let's try that. There we go. These chest harnesses are tricky. Okay, so right on the zero, that's 22. So I'm gonna go with, uh, we're gonna say, we're gonna say 24, 24 inch coho. Um, I was on a pro troll. Uh, flasher and a white ace high fly. I'll show that a little bit later. All right. Oh, and about 27 feet deep on the rigger. About 7:45. All right. Well, I gotta head in for some family responsibilities a little bit earlier today, but we did end up with two nice uh, coho, and I think we must have had shoot probably five off next to the boat or on the way to the boat. Um, Really slow morning, complete opposite of yesterday. The bite seemed to turn on about eight o'clock today when it shut off about eight o'clock yesterday. And I think uh, I think it was just uh, waiting for a tide change. We're just wrapping up a slack tide right now. Once that tide change, uh, pretty much once that tidal flow slowed or flow slowed down, we really uh, started getting into them. Um, so yeah, slack tide was where it was at today, and the birds and the bait fish finally came out, and we were able to go hunt down where everything was feeding and that's how we ended up with the uh, fish in the boat. That's gonna do it for today. Thank you.